the Lord invites us to his table to have fellowship with him, to remember his finished sacrifice on the cross. In the Old Testament, there was a day of atonement as given in Leviticus chapter 16. On this day, the high priest entered the Holy of Holies with the blood of the sacrifice to atone for his own sin and the sin of the people. And this was only once a year. The high priest woke up, got up very early in the morning, bathed with water, put on his high priestly garments, and he had first to slaughter a young bull, before that lay his hands and confess his own sins and offer the bull as a sin offering for himself. He was then to take a censer of fragrant incense and the blood of the bull into the Holy of Holies. The blood was sprinkled on the atonement cover. Then he took two male goats. Lords were cast. One was to be sacrificed for the sin offering of the people. The other was the scapegoat. This goat was brought forward. The high priest laid his hands on it, confessed his own sins and the sins of the people. And then this goat, the scapegoat, was led out far away and released far away in the desert. These sacrifices had to be repeated year after year. But the blood of bulls and goats could only give ceremonial cleansing. It could not cleanse the conscience. Jesus offered himself through the eternal spirit and his sacrifice cleanses us from every sin. It cleanses the conscience. Jesus' sacrifice was once and for all. It did not need to be repeated year after year like the Levitical high priest he sacrifices because his sacrifice was full, perfect and sufficient. On the cross he cried out, it is finished. The full penalty for sin has been paid. The full uh, penalty for God's wrath, to meet God's wrath, has been paid. It is finished. There is no more need to offer any sacrifice. We read that after Jesus rose, he said, ascended into heaven, he sat down at the right hand of God. He sat down because his work was finished. The high Levitical priests always stood in the sanctuary. They never stood, they never sat down because their work of atonement was never finished. Jesus sat down at the right hand of the Father, indicating that his work was now finished. Now we can approach God with boldness because Jesus is interceding for us at the right hand of the Father. Jesus invites us to his table to have fellowship with him, to remember his death and sacrifice. Let the elements be distributed now. And as we Hold the elements in our hands. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the cross where your body was broken for us and your blood was shed for us. We thank you for dying for us, Lord. Lord, in the words of the hymn, we say, thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the price you paid. 
bearing all our sin and shame, in love you came and gave amazing grace. Thank you for this love, Lord. Thank you for the nail-pierced hands. Washed me in your cleansing flow. Now all I know, your forgiveness and embrace. Worthy is the Lamb, seated on the throne. Crown you now with many crowns. You reign victorious. High and lifted up, Jesus, Son of God, the Lord of heaven, crucified. Worthy is the Lamb. Lord, we will say that you are worthy because you died, gave yourself for us. Lord, in remembrance of you, we partake this bread and wine. Having received the body and blood of the Lord Jesus, let us thank him. Let us give thanks. Lord, we are eternally grateful to you for the work of salvation that you have done for us. Lord, even when we were your enemies, we were sinners. Even when we were, Lord, when we were far away from you, you died for us, Lord. Lord, we are eternally grateful. Lord, we only pray that keep us always at the foot of the cross, lest we forget Gethsemane, lest we forget thine agony, lest we forget thy love for me. Lord, keep us at the foot of the cross. Thank you for dying for us, Lord. Help us to go out and to live in fellowship with you and to show your love and light to the world around us. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.